All right, so today we've made it at the ADA lab here in Ginza, Tokyo, Japan. If you ever visit Tokyo, this is a place to come. This ADA lab, I think, was first set up to be a pop-up store, um, but then it became more permanent, and there's more in the back over there, which we'll take a look at. We'll do a tour of this place. So let's begin by looking at the first tank. You see here, it's a four-footer rainbow fish tank. Really some beautiful Bozmanai rainbow fish, as well as the Madagascar rainbow fish. And I think there might be a few praycocks in here. Now you can see the plants are just amazing. You've got Bulbitis, Lagenandras, Anubias. Very natural looking tank. And the amazing thing is the immersed section. Like, look at this. You've got some Bulbitis growing out of the surface. Looks so natural. And a bunch of other plants. I'm not too sure what they are. This might be a type of ficus. But... I'm, I don't know. I don't know anything about immersed plants. I do know for sure that this is a philodendron uh, Papua New Guinea. But yeah, it's amazing. You've got three lights on here. The ADA Solar RGBs. Yeah, and in, in the comments section below, uh, after this video, let me know which tank was your favorite. One of my favorite things about this tank is this driftwood. Look how it comes out of the tank. And the plant has just been growing up on it and now it's hanging over. Really kind of unique and just stunning. You can see here you've got CO2 in here and you've also got a misting system to mist all the mosses and the immersed growth so that they don't dry out. But yeah, so that's the first tank. Now let's go ahead and look at the second tank, which is behind this one right here. So it's another four-footer. And this one is a, another really beautiful triangular composition. And you've got a bunch of tetras. You've got the Congo tetra, as well as the flameback bleeding heart tetra. Uh, a bunch of rummy nose tetras in here. Also a black phantom right there. But super nice. The Hygra Filipina Tefida just looks so good in small patches. Like here's another patch right here. Yeah, amazing. And this plant is really cool. I think it might be some type of pogo semen. But in this tank as well, you've got an amazing immerse section. It's two different worlds. Yeah, so that's a cool tank. Alright, so should we move on to the next tank? This tank over here is slightly larger. It's a 150 centimeter tank. Or a 5 footer. But this is cool. You've got one of my favorite fish right there, the Rasbora calichroma, also known as the clown Rasbora. So look at how unique that is. So I think this might be like a barb and Rasbora tank. You've got some really cool red tape plants. I think this might be the Blixa Oberti. And then you've got some Polygonium back there, that pinkish color plant. And this tank also has some really nice Bulbitis, Bucephalandras, Lagenandras. This tank has sand in the foreground, whereas the last two tanks we just saw had a, a fine gravel. It's called the Tropical River Sand, um, but it's more of a gravel. Well, this tank, I think it's a mixture of Colorado and ADA La Plata sand. It looks like a mixture. I'm not entirely sure, but I can kind of see two different colors, so that's what I'm guessing. Um, but I love the moss growth in here. Look at how nicely the moss is growing, so natural. 
But yeah, this, this probably is one of my favorites. I think this might be my favorite because when I came up this floor, there's an escalator right there. I came up from there. This was kind of like the first tank that stood out to me. And yeah, and I'm also a huge fan of triangular escapes. This is a triangular escape. This one as well. And let's take a look at this one now. This is another one that is really nice. I love the colors of this, especially because the front is a light brown color. You don't really see um, aquascapes using a light brown color soil as the foreground. So this is really cool. And it's also got angelfish, which are one of my favorite fish. Um, even though this is not my favorite type, these are the Leopoldi angelfish. Uh, they are still cool. They look very wild. But, yeah, and wow, this tank has some really cool plants I'm just noticing, but like this right here looks like some type of Echinodorus, a type of sword plant, not exactly sure what type. It might be the Horomani Red, but yeah, don't quote me on that. Got this thing right here, which is really cool, never seen that before. So really wild looking tank. I love the Echinodorus in the front, the Tenalus. Um, you've got some here. These look like the Opacus. Not exactly sure which type since there are many types of Opacus forms. I've got two types at home actually and I really enjoy that plant. It's nice to see uh, new leaves every few weeks. You've got a Nymphaea back there. So yeah, this is... Man, this is one of my favorites. These two tanks for sure. Gotta be one of my favorites. I'm gonna take some time to decide, but... You guys also... Take your time. Watch this video and decide which one's your favorite tank. I'll ask again at the end of this video, but there's some more tanks we need to look at. So, over here you've got a display section. Uh, some products that you can get. T-shirts and... Yeah, and then in this corner over here, there's some um, plants. It's kind of cool that ADA is getting into these terrestrial plants and starting to sell them. I don't know if it's a good thing for the aquarium side of the hobby, uh, since they're putting in so much effort into this, but uh, it's still nice to see another side of the hobby, an another different type of hobby. Uh, right here, you've got two terrariums. Well, this one's a paludarium right here. Uh, you can see a 30 centimeter paludarium, quite small, but looks really, really neat. Very simple, and there's some fish in here, actually. You've got some tiny little rasboras, as well as a chocolate gourami, it looks like, and a bunch of bucephalandras, which looks so natural. I think this is like a chunk out of uh, Malaysia or Borneo or something like that. And you can see this emerged, immersed growth is uh, really neat. So you've got the ADA Soul Stand RGB on this tank. And then in here you've got the terrarium with a bunch of Anubias. Take a look at this. This is Anubias Kirin Mini. And it's a new type of Anubias. I've also got some of this at home. And it's really cool because it's got wrinkly leaves. Really cute little plant. Over here you've got the Anubias Jade. And then you've also got some coins. A bunch of moss that looks really healthy. And yeah, here's uh, Anubias uh, Gracilis, I think. It's either Gracilis or Hastifolia. I'm not sure. There's so many types now. And it looks like it's Rissia growing in the foreground there. But yeah, alright, let's move on. Let's take a quick look inside here at some of these terrestrial plants. Really nice. I like this. Looks like some type of philodendron, but I'm not entirely sure. And look at this. I know you're not supposed to touch this, all the white powdery stuff. But really cool. This is a type of plant that I want to keep in the future. Yeah. Pretty amazing. And then over here you've got all the Dua terrariums. All the different sizes. 
We'll do some B-roll of them so that you guys can see some close-up look. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. It looks like a cliff. They, uh, then these, these pots here, the rounder ones, are called the glass pot Shizuku. And what you can actually do is pour some water in the top section here. And there's a little hole there which will drop water one drop at a time for a couple minutes. Uh, really fun and relaxing to watch. But yeah, so that's that section. Over here it looks like you've got some orchids and various other plants that I've got no clue what they are. Nice air plants hanging back there. And of course, I can't miss this, but you've got aquatic plants, tissue culture plants as well. Like almost the entire ADA selection. Over here are the Dua Glass Pot Maru. Uh, the mini ones. Here's some more Shizukus. I've always been interested in this. It's like a little tree and I didn't know it can grow to that height. When I see them for sale at stores, they're always very small. But it seems like it grows taller and taller, so... Yeah, I thought about getting that once, but... If it's gonna grow tall, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Alright, over here you've got some driftwood. Uh, wabikusa plants. On this side, you've got some really unique looking plants. Take a look at the spikes on that. Yeah, the Aglaonema pictum. Some more orchids over here. And I really like how they display all their plants. Even got some cork bark there. Over here is another tank. You can see a little workshop going on here. So if you want to create a little escape, you can over here. I think they have like some courses. This is a 90 centimeter tank. You can see the 90 centimeter tank only requires one solar RGB. But this is a really cool scape using some driftwood covered in moss. This is one of my favorite plants at the moment, the Ludwigius phyrocarpa. It's a pretty short growing stem plant which can be used in the mid-ground section, which is kind of why I like it. It's so unique. And a bunch of Hydrocotyl vert, um, tripartita, and I love how it blends in with the glossostigma in the foreground. Really nice. You've got CO2. Yeah. Oh, and these these fish are one of my favorites. The impike this carry. Really beautiful bluish purple fish. The males get a really nice color. And then you've got the red cherry tetra here. Look how vibrant that is. All right. Now let's move on to the opposite side, which is right here. You've got a tiny. Well, it's not tiny, but a 60 centimeter tank, a two-footer, just all alone by itself. So densely planted, it's like a jungle. Like, look at that. That's amazing. Got some green neon tetras, as well as the red phantom tetras. A nice amount of Hygrophila pinnatifida. Some Ludwigias. Rotalas, just a mixture of stem plants in here. And of course, in each tank, there's a good group of Amano shrimp to help out with algae and um, uneaten fish food. Just a good cleanup crew. And this, this stand 
is really nice. I love the shape of the ADA uh, metal stand. You can see how it like bends in inwards. And it's just really stylish. All right, and moving on, you've got this whole rack of aquariums, smaller aquariums, nano tanks from ADA. And what's cool is the bottom two tanks are like the standard tanks you get, the regular tanks you'd buy at a fish store. While the ones up top, you can see the color is different. They're both made of glass, but the ones on the bottom, there are multiple glasses stuck on to each other using silicon, which is normal, right? But then up here, these tanks, don't have any silicon so each tank is um, I'm not sure what the term is but is I think blown by a glass blower or something like that and you have no silicon edges so these tanks can essentially last forever as long as you don't break it while it's a regular tank with silicon um, over time the silicon wears out and you'd have to replace the tank or redo the silicon reseal it but these ones up here you don't have to and ADA makes these tanks up to 60 centimeters so up to this size tank you can get one of these but it's really expensive um, but I think it's a good investment if you're a huge fan of ADA and if you've got some extra money laying around um, right here you've got some display cases with some aquatic plants um, or terrestrial plants both ways work like this some of my favorite cryptocorins. You've got some various types. And take a look at this. The way it's flowering right there. Really cool. But stuff like this, I really enjoy looking at. I just love cryptocorins. And I love that ADA is showcasing and selling a bunch of cryptocorins. And over here, you've got some Laginandras. really really cool and then over here you've got some plants for sale some anubiuses as well as bucephalandras and then here you've got more displays Laganandra meboldi this is really unique. Never seen anything like that before. Anubias. A cool moss layout. Echinodorus. And this looks to be a carnivorous plant layout. Look at that. You've got a Tricularia graminifolia, which is actually a carnivorous plant. And then you've got some of this, which I have no idea what they're called, but that is a really cool and unique looking tank. And it's cool, there's so many different types of things you can do with aquariums. Just, yeah, I hope this video inspires some of you to try new things. Here's another Maru. You've got the regular size Maru as well as the large size Maru. And you've got the ADA um, magnet light. And then of course, you've got ADA tools on display. And they're also available for purchase here. This cryptocorn right here is one of my favorites. It's called the Cryptocorn Pontiderifolia. And the reason why I like it is because it's unique. It's got a really unique shape and it's easy to grow. You can grow it underwater without CO2. Uh, you can grow it with CO2. You can grow it immersed like it is right here. And it propagates really fast. So this is one of my favorites. If you ever find this plant, you got to try it out. Um, but yeah, then down below you've got all these little marus with some Anubias, different types of Anubias. Very nice displays. Easy to care for as well and I guess these are like perfect for office setups um, to have somewhere in your bedroom or something like that. Really nice. Down here 
this right here is a really nice one and it's not for sale. The others I'm guessing are for sale. Uh, otherwise they'd have the not for sale tag. And this one right here, the reason why I like it is because this is such a unique crypto coin. And the funny thing is, I've got one exactly like this at home and I'm planning to make something like this. That's a really cool setup. And you can see they've all got each of their magnet lights just on top of them. And you can see how nicely it's lighting the plants up. Now over on this side, this is a really cool setup. You've got a large Dua aquarium. This is, I think, 30 by 30 by 40, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see Anubius Bartari, just the large Bartari. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, the Anubius Bartari Var Bartari. And it's a really cool setup displaying this Anubius growing immersed. And the roots on this, it's quite incredible. Look how it's grabbing onto those rocks. Yeah. And over on this side, you've got some books. So if you're looking for some ADA books, uh, maybe they've got something you've been looking for here. In the comments down below, let me know which was your favorite tank. My favorite tank was this one for sure. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.